The sky over Chengdu, China recently witnessed a quiet but powerful event. A sleek, futuristic fighter jet, painted in low visibility gray, rolled off the assembly line. This was the 300th J-20, a stealth fighter nicknamed the Mighty Dragon. This milestone is more than a number, it's a signal to the world. China's military aviation industry has reached a new level of maturity and speed. For decades the US dominated stealth fighter technology with the F-22 and F-35. The J-20's rapid production challenges that dominance and reshapes the global strategic landscape. China is no longer just catching up, it's now a major player in advanced military technology. The Mighty Dragon is the centerpiece of the People's Liberation Army Air Force modernization. Its swift production shows China's intent to build a world-class military, capable of rivaling the best. This forces other nations, especially the US, to reassess their own capabilities. The J-20 is a homegrown design, a source of immense national pride and technological achievement. It's become a powerful icon of China's rise, inspiring a new generation of engineers and scientists. For military planners worldwide, the 300th J-20 is a wake-up call. The era of unchallenged American air superiority is fading. The J-20's growing numbers mean any future conflict in the Indo-Pacific could see stealth-on-stealth -stealth confrontations. The mighty dragon hasn't just taken to the skies, it's changed the very air global powers breathe. The Chengdu J-20 or Mighty Dragon is China's first fifth-generation stealth fighter. Its design scatters radar waves making it hard to detect. Advanced avionics help the pilot track targets and communicate securely. The J-20 can supercruise, fly at supersonic speeds without afterburners, saving fuel and extending its range. Unlike the agile F-22 or multi-role F-35, the J-20 is a long-range interceptor. Its large size means more fuel and bigger weapons, ideal for intercepting enemy bombers and support aircraft far from China's shores. Canards aid maneuverability, but may increase radar signature from some angles. The J-20 prioritizes speed, range, and sensors over extreme agility. Weapons are carried internally to maintain stealth. Its radar can track multiple targets and resist jamming. The J-20 is tailored to China's strategic needs, challenging U.S. air superiority by targeting the support network behind American air power. It's a specialized tool for securing China's airspace and pushing adversaries further away. The 300th J-20 didn't debut with fanfare. It was spotted by aviation enthusiasts at the Chengdu factory airfield. Photos quickly spread online, confirming what many suspected, J-20 production is accelerating. Serial numbers on PLBAF aircraft allow analysts to estimate production rates with surprising accuracy. This milestone, reached around September 2025, signals a major industrial achievement. Building 300 advanced stealth fighters requires cutting-edge materials, precision manufacturing, and a skilled workforce. The J-20 is no longer a prestige project, it's a mass-produced frontline weapon. This quiet reveal creates strategic ambiguity, keeping adversaries guessing about China's true capabilities. Is production even higher than estimated? Are new variants already in testing? Such uncertainty can be a powerful tool, forcing other nations to react. The 300th J-20's silent debut was as loud as any official declaration. It's a confident display of power, meant for those who pay attention. The J-20 is now a present and growing reality for military planners. China's stealth fleet is no longer a future threat, it's here. Numbers matter in air power. China now fields more J-20S than the US has F-22S, a critical turning point in fifth-generation fighter balance. The US planned for over 700 F-22S but stopped at 186, not all are combat ready. The F-35 is produced in larger numbers but it's a multi-role jet, not a direct air dominance rival to the J-20. China is building J-20S at a blistering pace, up to 100 per year. If this continues, China could have over 500 J-20S by 2027. The U.S. is developing its next-generation fighter but it won't arrive until the 2030s and will be expensive and limited in number. In the meantime, China's stealth fleet will keep growing. This creates a window of opportunity for China to hold a numerical advantage in advanced fighters in the Pacific. The numbers gap is set to widen, worrying Western strategists. The balance of air power is shifting fast. The J-20's biggest challenge has been its engines. Early models used Russian AL-31F engines, reliable, but underpowered. This reliance on foreign engines was a major weakness for China's flagship fighter. 
China developed the WS-10C Taihai, providing more thrust and reliability. Most J-20S now use the WS-10C, bringing performance closer to design goals. The ultimate goal is the WS-15 engine, designed to rival the F-22's power and enable true supercruise. The WS-15 faced delays, but recent reports suggest breakthroughs. New J-20S are expected to feature the WS-15, unlocking full combat capability. If successful, it's a game-changer for China's aerospace industry. However, long-term reliability and maintenance remain unproven. American engines have decades of proven performance. China's are still new. Any engine issues could ground the fleet and undermine the PLAWF's strength. The engine saga is a test of China's technological maturity. China surprised the world with a two-seat J-20 variant, the J-20S, the first of its kind in stealth fighters. The second crew member, a weapon systems officer, manages sensors, data, and coordinates with other forces. Most importantly, the WSO could control swarms of unmanned drones, turning the J-20S into a command hub in the sky. This manned-unmanned teaming is the future of air combat, and China is leading by fielding it now. The two-seat version opens new missions, electronic warfare, precision strikes, and more. The J-20 is now a family of systems, not just a fighter. Neither the F-22 nor F-35 has a two-seat version, giving China a unique edge. A human partner is still invaluable for managing complex drone operations. China's investment in the J-20S shows a different vision for future air warfare. Two mines, one stealth jet, and a network of drones, China is betting this will be decisive. The J-20 is now operational, deployed to key air bases in China's eastern and southern theater commands. These jets can directly influence the military balance in contested regions like the East China Sea, Taiwan Strait, and South China Sea. Encounters between J-20S and foreign aircraft including US F-35S are becoming routine. These cat-and-mouse games test each side's capabilities and tactics. For China, it's valuable real-world experience. For the US, it's a chance to gather intelligence. The J-20's presence is a powerful symbol of China's growing reach and complicates defense planning for regional rivals. For Taiwan, the J-20 is a primary threat to its air defenses and a key part of China's deterrent strategy. The J-20's long range puts U.S. bases and carrier groups in the Pacific within striking distance. Its stealth and missile capabilities could undermine America's ability to project power. The J-20 isn't just about defending China's coast, it's about pushing U.S. forces further away. The Indo-Pacific air balance is changing. Air power is more than just fighter numbers. The U.S. still holds key advantages, especially in pilot experience. American pilots undergo rigorous training and have real combat experience. Superior pilots can often defeat less experienced ones, even in better jets. The U.S. Air Force and Navy have decades of institutional knowledge in large-scale air campaigns. China's PLADF is improving, but lacks real combat experience. The U.S. also leads in networking, data fusion, and sensor integration. The F-35 is a flying information hub, sharing data across allied forces. America's global network of allies multiplies its strength. In any conflict, China would face not just the U.S., but a coalition of advanced air forces. This collective power is a formidable deterrent. The 300th J-20 marks China as a top-tier producer of advanced fighters. The PLAF's stealth fleet now surpasses the US F-22 fleet in size and is growing fast, but the US retains powerful advantages in pilot training, combat experience, and networking. Numbers matter, but so do skill, technology, and alliances. China's strategy is to use numbers and range to push U.S. forces out of its near seas. The U.S. relies on superior networking and allied cooperation to counter this. The real question, what truly defines air superiority, numbers, technology, or the human element? The rise of the mighty dragon ensures this debate will shape military strategy for decades.